a balanced Thanksgiving meal. A balanced Thanksgiving a meal. Balanced all this, Thanksgiving a meal. balanced okay. Thanksgiving meal. All right. Why do I course... feel like Ed McMahon in a Karnak bit all of a sudden here? <laughs> okay. A balanced <laughs> Thanksgiving meal. <laughs> Which starts with Driftless Glen, a beautiful oh bourbon whiskey. Uh, Listen, you, you, is, stop right, you stop right there. <laughs> you stop right there because I'm about to do an unsolicited commercial. That bottle right there. Right. That bottle. I picked up a bottle of that last time I was down in Madison. It's beautiful. And sampled it for the first time a few nights mm -hmm. ago yeah holy cow i right? look i'm kind of a snob my my bourbon needs to come you? from you me i know that i'll be like if anything <laughs> if it's not coming from kentucky i'm i'm probably not going to uh, be a big fan of it i'm liking that stuff right there it's so, from uh, the beautiful driftless glen uh, yes. distillery in baraboo wisconsin so yes. that's a great way to start thanksgiving and then i just stumbled <laughs> off to this I'd I thought this. it'd be a good uh, way to finish, but okay. <laughs> you can start uh, the meal that way, sure. Uh, and I'm a big fan of Cabernets, and I, I this is called mm. High Camp. High Camp, it comes from California. <laughs> That's it's, perfect for you, buddy. Right? Yes, it I is. Know. Yeah, it should... not, the, not the group camp, but with, that, with two A's, but this is Camp, C-A-M-P, High Camp. It's a Paso Roble, and uh, it's a beautiful little bouquet, and it proves that wine is not just for breakfast anymore. What are you <laughs> doing over here? <laughs> It's, Have you, that's great. That's it's like great. Hoda and, then, and Kathy Lee have redone the show. Absolutely. And then you finish it off. Uh, who doesn't like an Italian? Uh, I know I do. Uh, and so a little My grandpa? A little Disarono wow. and a little... And if you really want to make the holiday special, Pat and Greg, Disarono and Squirt. Uh, like a, a whiskey <laughs> glass. Really? Uh, with, with ice in it. And my, my, my compadre, the father of my godson, taught me this drink years ago, Life Changer. You put uh, ice in a glass and then uh, about uh, two shots of Disarono and then uh, topped it off with Squirt. <laughs> Craig, holiday, holiday Disarono. Disarono and Squirt, the official drink of Tata Alba and ninth graders all across America. <laughs> Listen, if the ninth graders are drinking Disarono and Squirt. Jeepers. Greg, I'm, I have a theory on this. <laughs> Yesterday we had Chad the Holmes on. Hammered. Yeah, well, maybe. Uh, and Chad had shared some very personal information that, that Thanksgiving isn't always easy with you know family yeah. conversations and everything. And right. so some people have to talk through that. Other people... Avoid just talking drink. about it and just, just drink, drink their way through the holiday. So whatever it is that's bothering Todd about Thanksgiving, he's got his coping mechanism. Yeah. What, me, whatever. Uh, me and, and to and Tony, uh, to Tony uh, says on on uh, YouTube, no turkey. Hello, Tony. Wild oh, turkey. Sure. <laughs> Wild turkey. Come on, uh, Todd. Absolutely. You've got the, you've got that wine right there. It's a Paso Robles. Have you ever been to Paso Robles? I have not. Have you. You should go there. It is oh, a beautiful God, wine country. Go. They call yeah. it working man's wine country. It's like right in the middle of California. It's right oh by the God. Hearst mansion in California. It is beautiful. We went there for our honeymoon and it really? was so fun. It's so nice there. I had no I, idea what a Paso Roble was, except that my really good friend in Madison lives oh. on Paso Roble way in Madison. Really? Now I finally know the thing is named after something. They weren't just throwing yeah, Scrabble yeah. tiles on the board. Well, it's, you know? it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. So oh. yeah, I mean, just call me uh, Karen from Will and Grace. I, no, <laughs> no kidding. Goodness. Honey, honey, honey. Um, all right. So anyway, well, but one of my favorite lines, by the way, from Will and Grace was, "Oh, honey, I don't drink on holidays. That's for amateurs." <laughs> <laughs> my my favorite Karen line is, "Sorry, I'm late. I didn't want to come, or something like that." I got here when I wanted to. Uh, I just uh, rewatched that entire show. It's so beautiful. It is. It is a beautiful thing. Uh, now, goodness knows you can't do this all weekend. Or no, can you? No. <laughs> but but uh, but apart from that balanced uh, Thanksgiving meal, uh, do you have any other big plans for the long uh, weekend, or is it a whole lot back, of no? Coming back down to Madison on Friday for uh, the axe game, in which it may end up with Luke Fickle getting the axe if he can't win on Friday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good so, point. <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to uh, do that, and then uh, going back to RC to help Mom uh, trim the house and cut the tree and all that good stuff. So uh -huh. it's a busy it's a busy uh, road weekend, but it'll be a fun one. Okay. How about you guys? Uh, well, first off, I'll be uh, looking for a sponsor for you for your twelve-step program that's coming up, and then uh, a whole lot of a whole lot of yeah, a whole lot of oh boy, whole lot of nothing. So yeah. anyway, if Todd passes the breathalyzer, you can hear him later today, starting at noon till two on the Civic Media Radio Network.
I, right, gonna, uh, I, I promo that you're going to do a Martha Stewart recipe at noon. Have you got one you can share? Oh, great. No pressure there. I guess I know what I'm doing for the next four hours. So I'm going to work <laughs> on that. Greg Bach will be back for Matt Nair on air two hours from now from 10 until noon with uh, Jane Matt Nair. And I'm Pat Wrightlow. Thank you so much. 